Hello my darlings, it's Nikki here today and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you three beautiful variations on headband styles. To recreate these three beautiful looks I decided to use a headband that I purchased from Zara not too long ago. It's this beautiful pearl embellished headband that I purchased for only $10 believe it or not and I love it so much because it's so versatile and it instantly dresses up an outfit and makes it look a little more special. So if you have a beautiful embellished headband or just a regular headband for that matter that you will want to incorporate into your wardrobe and add a little bit more interest to your outfit. These three headband styles are sure to inspire you. So I really hope that you enjoy them and try them out yourself. So if you want to know how you recreated them, keep on watching. So I'm taking my headband and placing it center at the top of my head and positioning the elastic part at the back right at the nape of my neck over my hair. Now because I'm wearing my fancy hair clip and hair extensions, my headband is staying in place because the clips are preventing it from moving. But if you're recreating these hairstyles on your natural hair, you might want to clip down the headband at the top to your head so it doesn't move while you're working with your hair. For the first hairstyle, I'm simply sectioning away any hair that I want left out of the hairstyle so that it frames my face. And then I'm taking a section of hair from one side and pulling it over the top and through the bottom of the headband just past my ear and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Once I've wrapped my first two sections of hair around the headband, I'm going to repeat these steps on both sides until I reach the middle of the headband at the back of my head. After a quick brush, headband hairstyle number one is finished. For the second headband hairstyle, I'm simply taking the loose hair at the back and braiding it into a basic three-strand braid. You can braid any braid you'd like here, which is another reason why I love this headband hairstyle. It's very versatile, but because I'm already showing you three different looks in this tutorial, I thought I'd keep my braid quick and easy. You can braid your hair into rope braid, a dutch braid, and my personal favorite, a fishtail braid. After I finished braiding and tied the ends off with a hair elastic, I'm going in and pulling apart the sides of the braid with my fingers to make it look more undone. For the final headband hairstyle, and the most fun in my opinion, I'm simply rolling the ends of the loose hair inwards and towards the ceiling until I reach the back of my head. Once I reach the back of my head, I'm stuffing this hair behind the headband at the nape of my neck. If you are wearing hair extensions and have ombre hair like I do, you want to take the time to smooth out all the hair you rolled up and cover up any spots where your hair extensions may be visible, like I am here. I know that you can't see what's going on at the back of your head, but most of the time you can feel if something's off. And I definitely felt something was off here. In cases like this, what I like to do is take a picture with the front camera on my phone of the back of my head. This way I can see where I need to fix my hair. In this case, all I needed to do was brush my hair to blend all my hair together and cover up any kinks. And don't worry if it's not perfect, I personally love when my hairstyles are a little messy and undone because it doesn't look like I tried too hard. That's why I love these headband hairstyles, they're so quick and easy to create and they don't have to be perfect to look so beautiful. So let me know which look was your favorite and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more tutorials like this one. So I really hope you enjoyed this headband hairstyle tutorial and will find inspiration in the looks that I created today. If you like this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And if you have some suggestions on future tutorials you'd like to see me recreate, make sure to leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.